Would you like a do-it-yourself electric home brewery setup? Well, I asked that very question to a renowned home brewing expert, and he showed me how he's created a very unique home brewery. Now, be sure to watch to the end to see his setup and his very unique fermentation chamber that he's used by piping the cold air from a nearby freezer. It's really cool. Hey, this is Martin Brungard, the brewing water guy. Welcome to my own brewery. Let me show you around. As implied by the name, this is an all electric brewery. I've got my homemade control panel, controlling the kettle rims and the hot liquor tank. I've got my homemade mash tun, insulated. Also got a homemade pump holder and a brewer's hardware rims tube. Here's a shot of my homemade hot liquor tank and my homemade 15 gallon electric kettle. Another thing I'd like to show you is my homemade vent hood. Uh, clear plexiglass so that the light can shine through. It's situated nice and high, but I've got a nice little curtain around it so that it helps capture steam better. Works very well. And of course, in brewing, cleanliness is next to godliness. And my cleaning area is right next to the brewing area. This is in uh, a repurposed mop basin. Along with that, there is a shower plumbing attachment that holds, supplies the water and, and does a great job. And as you can see, all my hoses and tubes and cleaning implements, and it works very well. As, and as you can expect, in any brewery, you've got to have your supplies, and I'm well stocked, as well as I've got my grains. And when it comes to fermentation, this is my fermentation chamber. It's insulated, holds a 12-gallon Blickman conical. And as you can see over here, it is plumbed into the freezer compartment of my brewery fridge. So it's very effective very well mannered. This all fits in a seven foot by 14 foot space and it's worked out really well. I think it's so fun seeing the creativity. Everybody's got a little different approach. Talk about homemade and the amount of things he must have learned in setting that up is tremendous. Like that That's the beauty of this hobby is a, a, a very simple example is I started brewing when I was 18 and I remember wanting to put a ball valve on the boil kettle and in reality, I'd never even touched a ball valve my entire life. I had no reason to at that point. And then you see what he's got where I love the dryer vent going from the freezer into his fermentation chamber. And the one thing I will say is I loved in all these videos so far is everybody is dialing in their temp control, which is perfect. I love, he said electric, you're brewing indoors. If you're brewing indoors with propane, danger. You want a nice controlled system. Electric's great, that's really cool. Hooded vent does allow for that ventilation, again, to keep things safe. And then the cleanliness factor that he mentioned, one of the biggest nemesis of uh, professional and um, home brewers is that cleanliness or sanitation side of things. And so you really do yourself well if you make sure that you're not allowing an environment of microorganisms that you don't intend to have in your beer influencing your beer. And he certainly was on top of that. And it, I think the interesting thing is a lot of people that know Martin and know how much, how much he understands water and balancing and, and just he's quite the engineer. You might have expected him to have this precise system. And yet he has kludged together something in what I would call a closet. Seven by 14 is pretty small. Yet it's a phenomenal. And I think the thing I liked the best was the sink with the shower above it. I think that's a great idea when you're trying to clean kegs and deep stuff. I think that is so clever. Now this was part of a longer event series on how much fun home brewing can really be. It was full of clips of various home brewery setups and I'll put a link to it up here in the cards and in the description. Please also consider giving this video a like help keep us on the air through Patreon support. Also, please share with me your top takeaway down in the comments below.